Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Today we are going to be painting an M24 Chaffee tank for the Bolt Action Miniatures game. Now this is a resin model um, that I have. It's a little sticky with some of the, the paints on it. Um, so it's going to be a little We'll see how this the paint stuck to it because I didn't really clean it very well. Um, so let's start with some uniform green from Vallejo. American tanks were mostly green during the war. So I think should we just dry brush a bunch of colors, a bunch of different greens on this? Let's see what happens. So we're gonna take our dry brush and our green paint. I don't know how, it's going to do pretty heavy, so I don't know how much this is going to strip off the thing or not, so let's just kind of start tackling the tank with a dry brush. We're starting with this color. This is definitely like way too green not like brown enough but it's a starting point for us right now so let's just get that all over the tank I'm also like the weather's been really bad so it's possible that when I primed this the primer didn't hasn't been great because the primer I've been using lately has also been pretty sticky. Um, just like they're, you know, getting cheaper with their materials and whatnot. So all things considered, this model was, I don't really need to the bottom, but this model was easy to put together. I mean, it is resin, so you can see a lot of like stuff on it still. We'll get our wheels and our gears here. Try to get into there as much as we can. Get the front of our tank and of course we knocked the machine gun off. That's another thing about this this kit is it the the holes for it that were drilled for the guns and stuff are pretty small um, so I think what I'm gonna do is just redrill a hole and put like a piece of copper wire in there or something just to make it better because like that's crazy like like and this isn't even detailed either it's just like a, a piece of metal so let's take our pin vise here Go right into the center of this hole here. It does have some super glue on it, so just take that and then we'll drill into it here. Gives ourselves a nice nice hole. It's not very center, but you know it'll probably stay better than it did. And then we'll get our copper wire here, our copper rod. Not really wire. So I got like this big copper wire here. And then we'll cut it to be the same length here. That means probably about here. So let's cut that. We have that there. And 
because the, it's the exact size of that same drill bit, we'll be able to put some glue on it here, super glue. It's resin, it's not plastic, so we, resin and metal and all that. So let's take this, let's take it into the hole, and just stick it right there. And there we have a machine gun that's actually <coughs> gonna stay in. So let's continue with our green paint job really quick. So we'll get the roof. I've added some extra bits to the model kit just to give it some, some more character. Probably should be wearing a glove for this but I don't have any gloves up here in my office right now, so it kind of sucks, but I just don't want to leave like a bunch of like marks all over these things, like so this, there's brushing on this green to give it a base I'm gonna need to hold on to this really quick right here. Just go over all the front here. And you can see like this this 50 cal on here too is metal. So it's like all like weird looking compared to some of the other if you're if you're familiar with the bolt action line, like their plastic models are a lot better than these resin metal these resin ones. But that's what we got. I don't think this is a popular tank. This is my favorite tank from World War II. Um, I don't know why. It's cool. I just like it. It's really neat. It's, I like the, how it looks. I like the. It has a big gun on it. But it's at the end of the day, it's a light tank, so it's not gonna be taking many hits. I was watching some videos on this. So I'm not really like like. Like into like the his like history part, so you'd be like, oh, I need to know the history of everything. So we're gonna get some olive green next. Um, but the history and stuff of this tank, it has. You would think, off the top of your head, like, oh, how much arm? How thick do you think the armor was on these tanks? I'm gonna take a bigger brush. Um, and you'd be like, oh, pretty thick, right? Wrong. The armor is only half inch to like three quarters of an inch thick on on these things and it, it's like do they not want their guys to live at all <laughs> like that's crazy it's so thin um when you think about it it's just crazy but you know like we weren't dealing with like the crazy um you know rounds that tanks shoot nowadays but still, like the caliber and stuff of the of the German tanks, like so, like especially in the European theater, like they're these shells that they're getting shot with are gigantic, and you're only got there's only a half an inch to save you, like that's wild. It's pretty crazy. Just get the bottom. You don't really need to get down there too much because you're never gonna see it, but. We'll just paint it. So now we got like a nice little kind of two-tone green going on this guy. And then that way that we can use that other uniform green and stuff as like a, a shadow area, like a dark color. So now at this point, I'm just going to put this on here so that I'm not like handling it like crazy because I don't want to get too much stuck on it. You don't really have to turn the turrets and all that stuff too, but it's nice to be able to. Okay, and now what we're going to do so we're gonna do 
some of the other stuff of this guy. So we'll get our brush here and we'll get some some US field drab and we're gonna paint some of these these bu these bundles of cloth and stuff on here like maybe they're um, like some camo stuff like if, if we're in a more area that's more brown we can put some of this on the tank to cover it things like that just get that nice and painted on our tank here trying to avoid the tie downs a bit, a bit here I don't remember what color the gas cans were they're probably green but like a more field green kind of deal so so there's that now let's get Hmm. Let's try this. I know it's a German color, but this Luftwaffe cam Camo Green. <clears throat> I mean, this is a German bushel anyway from the, the, I have a flamethrower tank for them that I'm not using. So. Um, just kind of. that to this we'll probably paint the gas cans this a similar color and this you know this would be the same thing for the the wooded side right we need a little bit more green coverage so let's put some green a different green kind of camo cover in front of our tank so that we can hide it a little bit better We're just getting our cans here. Now let's get some leather brown for our shovels and stuff that are on here. get a smaller brush for that just because they're kind of in there so let's just get a brown here and we can kind of see their sticks right there for the wood I think it's kind of all the wood that's on here we can probably make the straps on this one this color too all the tie downs probably like this brown color Ooh, another thing so we'll take this Luftwaffe green as well and we're gonna paint the ammo can that's on the 50 here this nice green there we go Now we can take this brown as well, this same brown that we have, the leather brown. Load up our brush a little bit. We're gonna dirty up some of these tracks. So like just like just hit with like a brown like under here, under the tank there, on the wheels, on the sides here. 
just to be like, oh, hey, this has been riding around. It's not. It's not the cleanest. Now we'll get some whole red. It's like a nice darker brown and do the same thing to the treads again, just to add some more dirt and grime to them. Now we'll take our gunmetal color to get, we'll do some, some more dry brushing onto the treads of the tank just to be like, oh, the metal's kind of getting exposed a little bit on some of them. Just. these wheels just give it a little teeny light kind of dry brush over the top of it same thing on the back here like that and we'll take that color as well and we're going to paint the 50 with it because I believe, we'll just kind of dry brush the 50 with it. Give it some color there. Okay. Now we will get our copper, our brassy brass color for the bullets inside the Link here. Like that. Then we'll get our black paint. And we're gonna paint that barrel of the the 30 cal that we put in the front here that we drilled here. So just paint that black. And we'll wipe some of this off, maybe mix some brown into it a little bit, and then just kind of get the tip of the barrel here, just kind of smoke it up and dirty it a little bit, like it's been shooting. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do, we're going to take a bigger brush here probably this size is good and we're going to take our known oil wash no our agrax earthshade wash and we're going to do an all over wash over the whole thing actually but first we need to take our gunmetal again and get the um the tips of the tools on the side of the the tank so like the shovels and stuff in there there's like a pickaxe i think too but we'll just grab those really quick so right here there's like shovel and then like a little head thing and then like a wrench right here we can probably just like do a little bit more on here too just to kind of make it a little bit more lived on you know these guys lived in these tanks maybe not this one but you know some metallic in there. You can also get some black in there too, because that's like where the exhaust is, right? Like a 
Okay, and now we'll get into our Agrax Earthshade. And we're going to do an all over wash of this. We'll try to do our best to keep it from pooling in areas, but we want to get the whole thing covered and this is going to darken our color up a lot more. It's going to rust it up a little bit too, which you know is you, you don't want it you don't want a rusty tank, but trying to get these bubbles gone. No. You want it to pool in the right areas. So let's just kind of slowly go around our tank here. Cover the top here. This new formula of washes from Games Workshop is not as good as the old one for sure. Like I've known it's it's a lot more like chunky like this and it's just not the same you know maybe it's time to start looking at different a different brown wash for the future of my tanks and stuff like that isn't too much in areas. Maybe get the tracks as well. This one can kind of pull up in there, it's fine. Try not to touch it a ton. So that it doesn't have any fingerprints on it. Okay, let's clean this brush off a bit here. And just kind of clean off some of these areas. Get it pulling more correctly how we want it. Especially on the barrel and stuff. Cool. And that is how we paint an M24 Chaffee tank for our bolt action army. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the chant this. Uh, I know I said I'd be probably delayed on some videos, but I still might. But I wanted to get one something done. I didn't. I don't know. I, just, I might not be behind because I feel bad leaving, not doing videos and stuff. But next thing to do is going to be to do some some light decals on him. And we're just going to put like a star here and a star in the front. This big star I've seen sometimes on the back, but we're just going to do these two little ones, and probably maybe like numbers on the side on the other side. But um, decals are easy and separate. But yeah, so. This is our tank. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.